Good afternoon from a very busy Blackpool Pleasure Beach. It's Easter Saturday, the is it the 20th of April. It's the first late night riding of the season here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, which means the park is open until 10 o'clock tonight, followed by fireworks. Potentially going to stick around for the day. No Stevie, she's uh, saving herself for Alton Towers on Easter Monday and Tuesday, which you guys will see in our next video. We are going to meet up with some friends today though, so we'll say hello to them in a bit. But there's a lot of people stuck in traffic at the moment. I'm glad that I have a season pass, by the way, because the queue to collect a day ticket today was absolutely crazy. You're probably looking at about an hour's, an hour's queue just to get your wristband on a day ticket today to get in the park. But season pass wristband, walk straight up to the information desk in the casino building, no queue, and then straight through the security gates into the park. Gonna have a bit of a wander around now and see what I fancy going on first. Probably head over towards Icom because it'll be on three trains and it'll be absolutely munching through the queue. So I won't have to wait for too long, hopefully. There is quite a sizable queue over there for Valhalla already. Even the flying machines on the other side of the building has got a bit of a queue outside. Grand National queuing out all the way onto the plaza in front. It's a busy day here at Pleasure Beach. That's to be expected, it's a bank holiday weekend. Lots of people on a four day weekend. And it is a lovely day. Let's just enjoy it for what it is. I think to say the bowler drome is back open now, the arcade. Uh, not really too sure what's going on with this facade. Just a plain white sheet on the front of it. It does look temporary to be fair. And there's speculation about the long term future of this building, but I can't see it staying like this for long. Now, the good news is that Icon's queue isn't even to the entrance gate, which means that's probably only about 25, 30 minutes wait on three trains. Really can't argue with that. Can't complain. I guess I still keep saying can't complain. There's a big dipper going around. Confusion in the background. Love seeing Pleasure Beach in full flow. All the rides running at full capacity. Sat on the train in 20 minutes that is absolutely spot on they are really kicking the trains out just people off fill it out just one after the other bang 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 straight through no messing about really kudos to the staff on icon today that's fantastic work and hopefully it carries on like that through the day so we can get on icon a good few more times just hoping to see a few friends here soon it's uh, definitely a lot of traffic going on apparently this uh john is uh, supposed to be meeting us here and he's still sat in traffic six miles away from blackpool we'll see him in a bit Let's go and see if anyone else is here yet. The big one, although it is running on two trains, has got a very long queue. It's all the way out of the zigzag, all the way back down there past the cans. If people are in for a long wait, they're just joining that queue. I'd like to go on the big one today, but I'll keep an eye out for the queue dropping off later in the day. piece of news is this bridge is back open as of this weekend 
can't see them that they've actually changed anything. It still looks just as steep as it was before. So who knows why it was closed in the first place. Potentially because this bit is fenced off over there. This path down the side of the big one station and brake run is currently closed off and there's a load of stuff underneath tarpaulins over there. Expect, in fact, I just figured out where it is because it's got fire extinguisher next to it. That's the fireworks for tonight, I think. Icon. Look who it is. It's John. Oh, Third time, John. Right. We have the same camera. We have. I'm matching. We also got a nice Herc style. Oh, yeah. Mine needs one. Yeah. <laughs> you having a good day so far, John? We've not been on out yet. Yeah, but. no, well, I've just arrived about half an hour ago and it, it took me two hours plus to get here from Liverpool. Normally it takes about 50 minutes, as you know, to an hour. And the M6 was just chock a block. But what do you know, yeah? And we've been wanting to meet up with Alan for a while, so it's going to be a good day. Yeah, it should be a great day. Yeah. Icon first for me. Yeah, I don't mind going to an icon again. We've been walking around for ages and I realised that we hadn't filmed anything for a while. <laughs> so we had a good row. John's first ride of the day, my second ride of the day. Both on icon for me, I did the back row first and then just did the front row with John. That was fantastic. It was running really well, wasn't it? Yeah, it was running really nicely. I, I'm, just, I'm sort of like, the, the like you can never make my mind up between the front and back row for icon. But today it's at the front, I think. Probably change again later. I was just debating Big Dipper, but we need to see how big the queue is first. Experiences, Mike. Hey! Good afternoon, Mike. How was your uh, ride on the wheels on the big dipper? <laughs> it was, it was all right actually, apart from being bounced about all over the place. <laughs> Scott still missed a Phoebe. Camera walls. <laughs> Exclusive behind the scenes. Yeah, absolutely. Did you did you enjoy the big dipper, Scott? Oh, it was good. It was good. It was entertaining watching these two sat together. They, they looked nice and snug, but they were all over the place. It was great fun. <laughs> I had a really nice wheel seat, so a nice smooth ride on the classic Big Dipper. But how was it for you, mate? A bit, a bit, a bit sore. Nah, it's great. It's good. It's a good ride. Yeah, Best enjoy a bit of Definitely. Best Woody at the park. The Claudine Street's not far behind it. Then Blue Flyer. Then the Wild Mouse. Then. Um, Probably put the Grand National there. Just, yeah. just, just, just about. Just about. The Wild Mouse isn't even here anymore and it's no, still above the grass. It's still above the Grand National. <laughs> I just don't like the Grand National anymore. It needs a, a new operating system, new trains, and probably a full retrack. But yeah. Unfortunately, the guys here who work in engineering are just so understaffed and have so much hard work to do anyway. You're just not going to get around to it, unfortunately. No, Until, it's a shame. It's a massive priority. Unfortunately, me and Mike couldn't share a video that we did film that season. We saw just how much work goes in to the pleasure beach that season for the engineering team. And it's just incredible. Just, they've got that much to do. They can't. The amount of resources they have to put into doing yeah, that, exactly. they haven't got it. It's like there's some guys who work for like four or five different departments for the pleasure beach and they'll do. So like the retrack in the Grand National in the morning, but in the afternoon they'll be doing the carpet for the Michelin <laughs> Hotel. 
and then in the evening, they'll be doing something in catering or something like that. Yeah, it's something like that. It's, it's incredible the amount of work that some of them have to do. Yeah, it's crazy. There's this great conception of what happens is on the 7th of November or whatever day it is, that Sunday, they, they turn up, they take the key out the right. And just leave it. Yeah. The, yeah. Come back on the, like, what, 11th of February, turn it on and press go and it's. No, yeah, it's far from it. Everything gets stripped. Ladies right. and gentlemen, keep all loose articles on the right. 5P has just thrown out the big dipper or oh, somewhere. So, yeah. I think it was up there. I think we're underneath the queue, aren't we? Someone's just dropped yeah. it out of the queue. Right, people are attacking us with it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, get them off the screen. Get them off the screen. Just in the queue for the revolution. Jeez. Gives you some good views of the park. You can see just how busy the big one queue is. It's not moving very quickly. Uh, they are sending a train out just now. Behind the scenes at Pleasure Beach Experience. Good timing with Icon on the underneath the big one lift hill. This is where you two decide to prank each other. <laughs> <laughs> Camera <Is> was. <it? laughs> <laughs> You will be getting one of them soon, my beauty, my beautiful. <laughs> now, that's why we've got, I mean, I no reason whatsoever to have an iPhone. iPhone from BlackBerry. That's why we changed up. So, you know, it's a shot you were after. Yes. because the big one queue is about two hours long and might be dying of starvation by the time we get to the ride. weekends like on a cold Sunday in February and getting on loads of rides but then it's it's nice seeing it like this as well. Yeah. Feel like we were saying earlier, just like remind you of childhood memories of oh, yeah. coming to the Pleasure Beach and it was always busy. The nostalgia value of a black pool is amazing for me. When I see the tower I still get the same buzz, you know when you're driving on the M fifty five and you're coming from Laura. I still want to see that tower. I'm like, oh, I get like the excitement. And yeah, like, oh, what do you do there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in fact, when I was a kid, we used to play a game in the car. We used to get a pound through to spot the, the tower first. And I was very competitive with my brothers and sisters. <laughs> brothers and sisters, my sister. <laughs> yeah, we said uh, goodbye to the PBE guys for now. They've uh, jumped on the big one queue. We don't fancy that now because it's, uh, it's probably like two and a half hours like, by the looks of it. And, I just can't be bothered to do an half hour queue at this time of day now. We've got a few other rides. So we're going to start off, well, carry on the day. The Grand National. Nice. We, fa we fancy getting assaulted by a wooden roller coaster. <laughs> Why not? One in Blackpool. <laughs> yeah. You know. Just in the air, 
gate for the back row in the Grand National. It's going to work this, isn't it, John? Why would you do the back row? I don't think we've got a choice. Bring it on, So we've been on the back row on the Grand National, which was not unbelievable. That was so rough. I know people give the Grand National a hard time sometimes, but that the Grand National gave us a hard time on that. That was absolutely shocking. It was still like, just, you know when you kind of, it's so rough that you just have to laugh. John, John thought he was bleeding at one point. <laughs> That's true. I actually screamed out, my arm's bleeding, I'm bleeding. my arm's bleeding. <laughs> Honestly, we were just screaming. It was horrific. Horrific. All right, we're gonna we're gonna uh, we'll calm down now and go on the Derby Racer a bit. Derby Racer, we can't go wrong with Derby Racer. I don't know. So that was a really good ride on the Derby Racer. Enjoyed that. This is surprising. John was saying that even in Blackpool, even the Bobby horses are intense. It was a good ride though. Enjoyed that. Gonna have a go on another Pleasure Beach Classic now. The flying machines. Just as the sun's about to set over the bit of a sunset ride on the flying machines. Yeah, it's a lovely sunset that. Look at that. I'm gonna try and get a twilight ride on icon after this I think. Yeah. John's a braver man than I am. I'm not walking through there. <laughs> you got wet feet now. <laughs> it's written a Blackpool classic, the flying machine. Hey, look at that, vlog on vlog. They, just after we got on, they've just turned the lights on on the flying machine. Never mind. Just missed riding it with the lights on, but never mind. I'm gonna head back over towards Icon now to get a nice night ride on Icon, I think. Lights are starting to come on around the park. Icon looking all dramatic now. So very special about the Pleasure Beach at night. Gotta love it. <laughs> Laughing man's looking super creepy, all lit up. It's even more creepy than his head. Looks like it's about to fall off. <laughs> Just a decapitated head waving around. At least there's crowns on it, hasn't fallen off like my, my bear. Uh, like your mate down there. <laughs> that is creepy, that look. Yeah. You can see it, his innards, the inner workings of the lapping down. Looking awesome, all lit up in the floodlights. The lights on the trains as well.
<laughs> Good shot. Skyline of the Pleasure Beach looking all nice, lit up. Empty train going round the big one, end of the day. So the last ride of the day was a fantastic front row ride on Icon in the dark. It's really, really good, really enjoyed that. It's been a good day here with John. Yeah, brilliant, really good day. Fantastic. Well, right, a bit of icon front row in the dark at the end. Beautiful, it was a beautiful day. No, it wasn't. It's the first time I've done icon front row in the dark. I've done icon in the dark before, but not front row. It was, it was really good, really enjoyed that. I've done better than I thought we were going to do for rides, actually. Yeah, like I've been on icon five times today. I've been on the big one. Been on uh, Big Dipper, yeah. National, uh, Derby Racer, and the Flying Machines. Yeah. That's been not bad at all. No, yeah. it's been more. Considering how busy it is. Yeah. It's been really, really, really busy, but not too busy where you don't enjoy yourself. Yeah, it's, been nice. it's a nice crowd level. Good atmosphere. Good, right? yeah, really great. Like, uh, just loads of people enjoying themselves, all the families around, all different groups of people having a good time. Today's going to finish very shortly with a fireworks display, so we'll leave you guys with that. And we'll see you guys in the next video. If you're not already, make sure you, oh by the way, subscribe to John's channel. Make sure, time, John. time, John. He's got a really good channel, his videos are fantastic to watch, it's really entertaining. <laughs> Yeah. Don't come to my channel expecting facts. Like, it's fun, it's fun. There, there is, in this video, it does feature a fact. Oh, yeah. In John's video yeah. from today, this, so. This one, and it's quite a good fact. It is. Yeah. Yeah. So, subscribe to find out. See you soon. <laughs> Absolutely. So, go and check out John's channel. Check out Pleasure Beach Experience and all, of course. We had a great day with them earlier. And yeah, of course, if you're not already, make sure you hit the subscribe button on our channel as well if you've enjoyed this video. Thanks very much for watching, guys. We'll leave you with the fireworks. Hope you've enjoyed this video, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. 30 seconds, second